gentlemen, my next guest hosts the Three Dog Bakery Show on the TV Food Network. Please welcome Dan Dye and Mark Beckloff. Guys, thanks very much for being here. Good to have you with us. Now, uh, we should also introduce your, your dogs are with us. Do you want to introduce them? Sure. Oh, this, just quickly show. Who, sure, this is Dottie. This is Gracie, and okay. Sarah is somewhere. Running around. Oh, oh here gone. she is. Right okay. here. All right. Excellent. <laughs> now, well, let me understand this uh, correctly. You have a TV show, but you also have a string of bakeries across America that only make pastries and treats for dogs. That's right. We started uh, eight years ago. Actually, it was Christmas of 1989. Okay. Uh, Mark's mom had given him a bone biscuit cutter in his stocking as a joke because right. she knew that he loved dogs, I love dogs. And we began uh, cutting out biscuits on a, my kitchen table one by one and giving them to friends and family and coworkers. And we started getting this great response. So we began uh, selling them. And it's grown and it's grown. Today we operate 10 bakeries, including one in London. We have one in the French Quarter. And we're wholesaling our products to great accounts like PetSmart. And okay, because I'm noticing some strange things here. First of all, I've noticed some Hanukkah treats that's over right. here. That's right. For the dogs. This is a menorah. Am I correct? This is a menorah? That's right. We've got all kinds of great the, holidays. You have, the, you have the Jewish star over here? That's, that's right. Worth the dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are a bakery that really gives me. What? Uh, I mean, I mean my, my question is, is do the dogs don't care, do they? Oh. What dog is going to say, I will not eat the menorah? That offends my sense of what is right and what well, is wrong. You know, the dog's becoming a real important member of the family, and people want to make sure they're eating the healthiest treats available, and here you go. Okay. All, all natural, no sodium, no sugar, low fat. You know, but he's bringing up, I mean, it's a good point. They don't know that. Yeah, thanks for sticking up for me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Mark, what's going on here? Sure. No, they're cut out in the star of David, but the, the important thing is that the people who buy them right. must understand is they're all made without salt, without sugar. They're all right. real low fat. It's just great stuff for dogs. It's good for the dog. But look at all the work you put into this. I mean, yeah. look at this right here. Look at this incredible display. I mean, you go to all this trouble to make this nice. The dog doesn't know the difference between chewing on this and a dead squirrel, does it really? I mean... <laughs> Just bringing up a point, you know, it eats this and it goes, this, that's good, and then later on, no, it finds well, a rat in the basement and this good too, and you've done all this work. We have a lot of people. <laughs> I'm serious. We have a lot of people that come into our bakery, and you know, they'll say, my dog loves the peanut butter biscuits, but he doesn't care too much for the oatmeal raisins. So right, can, and he also he likes to sniff other dogs' butts. So where's, <laughs> where's the justice here? That's right. All right, well, what are we going to make here? We're going to make some stuff. Right, this is, Let's this get is started. our uh, we're peanut butter holla dog cookies. And what we're going to do is start off with whole wheat flour. This is four cups. Okay. Uh, again, Write this down at home. That's if you're, right. If you're a it's, dog it's watching. It's really easy. We're just using things that you can find really easily in your own cabin. Right, okay. and, and all those fruit cakes that you get, at, you know, for the holidays, right. instead of feeding that to your and what dog, is this? Said, this is rolled oats. Okay. We've got peanut butter, and we always use natural peanut butter. Right. Okay, that's nice. That's right. This is ground squirrel, by the way. <laughs> that adds a nice little treat this is for apple it. Sauce, okay. This uh, replaces the fat. Okay. We've got one egg for the shiny coat. Okay. We've got a little bit of vanilla. Uh -huh. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to go on and then add, you add some water. And so you stir this up. Let's go to the next stage okay, so that we don't run too low on time. Now, a... basically, you've gone to a lot of trouble, but I could put this down on the floor and the dogs would eat this, <laughs> wouldn't they? <laughs> they would. Uh, it takes on <laughs> They would. It takes on a whole different flavor. Yeah, it takes on a <laughs> dog would roll off. Look, he's just happy to have that. Okay, Wait a minute. You've trained the dog not to like that. <laughs> no. I swear, any other dog in America is like... After it's stirred up, it's okay. going to turn, turn into a dough. And if He'd it's, eat this, wouldn't he, well, if I just threw this on yeah, the floor? Oh, huh? like nice dog. Yeah, yeah, you got her attention there. Okay, so you pound that into uh, uh, a little bit of... You want to roll it out to about a half-inch thickness. Yeah. Okay. And then we've got all kinds of holi holiday cutters. Now, it's the dog eating it, so it's not that important that it's, everything's clean. And you could drive your car over that, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. It's a dog eating it. He doesn't know. He doesn't Dogs care. Dogs become very discriminating. They, they know what's, what's going on. And then what you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven at 350 degrees and you're going to bake these for about 45 minutes. Right. Okay. Because if it's not done just right, the dog will not have anything to do with That's it. That's right. I believe and then not, the, are there shapes that the dogs like more than other shapes? Like I'm noticing here, these are nice holiday shapes. Right. Do, are there, do you find that dogs like a star or they like a tree or? I think the tree mostly. Okay. So. <laughs> That's great. Well, That's good. Good. No, I just wanted to know. 
And I wanted proof that you're both certifiably insane. <laughs> so, uh, we love dogs. Yeah. That's, that's this what is, this is all yeah, about. As many people do. This is an only in America to Now let's switch to the next stage here. How much time we got? We got to go soon. Like, got to okay. go in like any second, pretty much. Well, We're out of gonna, time. Well, all you're going to do is these are some of the, our baked products. And right. as you can tell, we use co different natural colorings. What like, do you... Dogs are colorblind. Well, that's they, they are. They, dogs are colorblind. A dog looks at this and doesn't go green. It doesn't well, know. That's what they say. But dogs don't have jobs and they don't have money and they got to depend on their humans to buy the stuff. <laughs> Just a little dry. It's almost too healthy for human consumption. This is like, this is as good as any cook I, I've had lately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. great stuff. This is real. Don't give it to the dog. This is, <laughs> eat it yourself. Eat it That's yourself. Right. Uh, Dan Zai and Mark Beckloff, uh, thank you very much for Thanks, coming here. Well. Good work you. you. We'll take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. It's not bad. <laughs> That's our show tonight. I do want to thank all my guests, Dan Dye and Mark Beckloff. Thanks very much. Continued success with your tour and everything. Our thanks to Mark Marin for being here. You're real groovy, Mark. Our thanks uh, to the Donald for being here and sharing his sex life with us. You got your Andy Richter. You got your Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Good night, everybody. Stay tuned for later. We'll see you.